Hello and welcome back to another show. A large truck just went by and that was another car so hopefully that will be it now and it will just be sort of quiet and I can make this video. This is the quick two minute version of me making this glitter uh, face sort of effect. I used this tutorial from uh, Emily Peterson. She has a website uh, and she has an instruction manual uh, on how to make a glittery effect in GIMP. I pretty much followed it exactly and then uh, condensed it down into these simple steps which I recreated myself in GIMP so I have a couple layers here I made it the size of this layer which you can almost see underneath creepy uh, and it's, cu it's got a couple steps there's a whole video that I already made which is like 10 minutes long where I go into more detail of me just sort of following those steps and showing you uh, the actual things that you need to do to get to this step uh, this stage but if you've already done that and you're just looking for how to implement it then once you've exported this file you will have uh, a glitter file <laughs> or something like that you can come over here and we'll create a new project file I'll pause this and minimize we can uh, add a mesh to our new scene face mesh over the face with a material layer which we can uh, set to physically based because it's glitter and then we'll come down here to the normal and we'll choose file and we'll add it to glitter file you see we've got that normal effect which is immediately kind of obviously going to be glitter it looks a bit more like sandpaper right now especially when I turn the roughness up here but it does have the potential to be glitter if we uh, add an an environment texture so these are HDRIs which we're gonna uh, select from I'm just gonna use this one because I've looked at the clock and it's well over two minutes this is probably a three or four minute tutorial now that's okay taking our time just chilling so now we'll go to environment we'll check that box and we'll select the HDRI we've just chosen that gives us a 360 degree sort of reflective image which we could choose from we can adjust we can now make decisions based on that and even change the color of what we're looking at so we might end up with this red pull it down to here go hmm maybe oh i don't know maybe something like this uh, and then when i pull it over to me i don't know i think that's a little bit bright so I'm going to come over here, we've got a sunny Vondel Park, that sounds a little bit better, I keep clicking on that. Switch over to this, oh look at that, you can tell it's a little bit more shiny already. This has that shiny effect that we may be after. Select how much colour you want, make some adjustments if you want it to be a certain way. And there you go, that's pretty much the effect. Oh yeah, I forgot about the eyes. So I'll add another face mesh, we'll do that, put it underneath. Turn these off under our eyes face mesh. So which we'll uncheck the eyes and the mouth and then we'll add a material. Uh, which we'll select and we'll make that flat. We'll change the colour here to black, green, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and that's pretty much the whole effect. You can see it's kind of sparkly, kind of glittery. I'm gonna keep working on it, so should you let me know how it goes for you in the comments like, subscribe, all that good stuff. This was basically a four minute tutorial. I'm gonna have to make it four minutes now. Bye, see you next time.